skills. Let's learn how to make uh, mathematics uh, educational videos or how to teach mathematics during a virtual class. This is the third video on effective teaching tools. This video is the continuation of open board. For making use of open board, we have to download open board. I have downloaded the Windows version of open board. On downloading, we will get the open board icon on the desktop and on clicking on it, we will get the open board workspace. The top is the menu bar of the open board. The first one is the stylus pen toolbar. Once on clicking on it, we will get the stylus pen menu or the toolbar. The first one is the pen option. Whenever we click on the pen option, we will be able to write on this complete page that you are able to see. The deadlines, the two lines that you see, they are not the deadlines. We can write on the complete screen. But before writing, we have to choose the color of the pen uh, in which we are going to write and also the thickness of the pen with which we are going to write. When it is a whiteboard, the color options will be black, red, blue, green, yellow. But if we change the background using the background setting, the colors of the pen will automatically change. In the toolbar in the bottom, the next one is the eraser and then we have a highlighter, then a cursor and the finger pointer with this selection, we can uh, move anything on this uh, uh, workspace. And then we have the hand symbol. Hand symbol, when we select, we can scroll up, down, right, left, thereby writing unlimited on this whiteboard or the open board workspace. And then we have zoom out, zoom in, and then we have a cursor. Using cursor, we can show the line where we are uh, teaching or reading out. And then we have line and then we have the text box. If we don't want to write using a stylus pen, we can choose the text box. And by selecting text box, we will get such an option. Here we can type and we can even choose the color of the pen uh, with which we are writing. Next, we have a snipping tool and a virtual keyboard. Right. Now, this video is for how to teach mathematics. The previous video was done with a whiteboard. So let me check the background and this time let me take a black background. So I chose a black background. Now in the right side arrow option as I click, these are the various options that is available with the open board. As I magnify this, you can see what are the various options. For a teaching purpose, we have to click on the applications icon. When we click on the applications icon, we will have the complete geometry box set and various other options for teaching almost all subjects of all classes. Right now, since we are uh, uh, doing a mathematical educational video or we are learning how to teach mathematics online, I will be using the geometry box uh, tools. Now, uh, first let me write uh, on the screen what is the objective of my construction. So I chose the stylus pen, I chose a white and since I'm writing I chose a thick pen. Now I'm using my stylus to write the objective. So I'm going to construct a perpendicular bisector. of a given line segment. So this is what I'm going to do right now. So we are going to construct perpendicular bisector of a line segment. So we want a line. So for drawing a line, click on the ruler and drag it to the workspace. And this is the ruler which whose length we can reduce and we can increase also. So I have set the ruler on location. Now I want to draw a line for that. First click on the uh, stylus pen at the bottom toolbar and select the color of the pen. So I will draw the line with red color and since it is a construction, I'll go for thin line. Now let me draw the line. So a red line I'm drawing. And uh, now I want to send the ruler back. So on clicking the ruler, if the ruler cross mark doesn't come, we have to again drag the ruler and send this along with that, send this also. Now we have got the line segment. Now let me label the line. So for labeling, I chose a yellow and a thick pen. Let name of the line be AB and we are going to bisect 
or we are going to construct perpendicular bisector of the line for that we need a compass or the circular so the circular pointer has to be placed once at a and next at b and then we have to choose a radius of more than half of ab and draw intersecting arcs above and below ab so that's the procedure so this is the circular or the compass whose radius we can reduce and increase so i want a radius of more than half so this appears to be more than half so 7 cm that i saw but if it is not visible we can pull the magnifier and place it on the on the compass and now we can clearly see the radius is 7 cm and we can send the compass back now i have to rotate the compass by putting the cursor at the center and since it is a construction uh, i will choose a thin line and even i chose the color of the pen now when i place the cursor at the pencil end pointer is at a pencil is the opposite end and on clicking on the ruler if the ruler is not highlighted go to the compass once again drag it send it and by this time this will be activated now i am drawing an arc above and by rotating and again putting the cursor at the pencil when i see the u turn symbol i have to draw the arc below now i'll change the location of the pointer it will be at b and i rotate the compass all the way and by putting the cursor at the pencil end when i see the u turn i will cut the previous arc above and rotate it and cut the previous arc below with the same radius i have not changed the radius now let's send the compass back now we have to join the point of intersection of these two arcs for that we need a ruler so i selected the ruler on the tool bar in the right side and then uh, i dragged it and brought to my workspace and uh, now i am able to rotate it and uh, as i place the cursor at the rotator here i can rotate the ruler and place it perfectly between the point of intersection of the two arcs now let us uh, select the color of a pen now i select blue and thin and then i will uh, draw a line connecting the point of intersection of the two arcs and now i want to send the ruler back for that purpose select the ruler again and now this will be highlighted so i have sent the ruler back so now this is perpendicular bisector bisector means blue line passes through the midpoint of ab and it is perpendicular to ab that means that makes a right angle with ab so let's check it by dragging the protractor to the workspace and i will put the protractor pointer perfectly at the point of intersection the protractor can be made big in dimension can be made small in dimension now once we have set the protractor location properly hold the take the cursor to the handle of the protractor and turn all the way and go up to the perpendicular line and then uh, you will see the angle that is formed if it is placed properly you can really see a right angle now since we are not able to see properly i bring the magnifier and now you can see it is 89.7 rounded up to 90 degree but the perfect diagrams can be drawn so this is how we construct perpendicular bisector now i select the hand uh, option in the bottom toolbar so that i can scroll the screen up now i can choose the triangle option and i can bring the triangle and i can rotate the triangle using the triangle option i can even draw a triangle so i chose the pen option and i chose a perfect color and this and uh, i can easily draw a triangle this is in fact a set square but we can give a try to draw a triangle we can rotate the triangle all the way we can use this uh, set square instead it's a set square for multi purpose next we can uh, draw concentric circles using uh, a circular and uh, so the once i place uh, 
right. Now I can increase the length of the circular or radius of the circular and uh, putting the pointer at the same location I can draw concentric circles when the u-turn symbol is highlighted so like this we can draw circles of uh, different radius anywhere on this whiteboard so we have uh, drawn circles we have drawn perpendicular bisectors now if you want to write anything we can uh, choose uh, the hand option in this toolbar and we can uh, change uh, we can move it up down and uh, wherever and we can uh, write uh, details other than this uh, features of the application tool uh, let me first again scroll the page and uh, other than this we have a set square option and then we have the map option so we can pull the map all the way here and we can increase the or decrease yeah so we can increase or decrease the dimension of the map while teaching and as we put the cursor on a particular continent name of continent can be seen below now this is south africa that is africa eurasia and uh, yeah, we can do much work with this by selecting a particular continent. We can highlight it and we can uh, do a lot of uh, discussions on this. Next to this, we have the Google map and uh, next to that we have a graph. This is the most important feature of this graph. So at the function place, we can type, say we want to see a uh, sin x graph. So I typed at the function sin x and uh, we got the sin x graph. And next, uh, if I type on the display, yeah, I have to type on the dis yeah. So once you click on the help option, you can see the various formulas or syntaxes that is uh, uh, there for uh, seeing different kinds of graphs. Now I come back to the graphs and uh, the functions page. And here, if I click on add, I can write here cos x and uh, we can have the sin x and cos x graph both. And the same graphs we can draw for three dimension also. So in the function, if I type sin x, we will see the sin x graph in 3D. So this can be helpful for uh, uh, plotting and showing graphs of different kinds. Now, there is a clock option. So if I select and uh, drag the clock, we will know the correct time. This is actually the right time when this video is being made. This is about to be 11.30. So we can run a timer and sometimes we are conducting a quiz and we can run the timer or any, any event we are going to conduct that we can do. And then we have the stop clock option. Once you click on the stop clock option, you can set a certain time, say two hours and you start and the countdown begins. So the stop clock will help us in conducting an online quiz during our virtual class. So like that, we have many other options. So open board, the multi-purpose uh, application tool can be used for teaching purpose. And in the next video, I will be discussing other uh, details on the effective teaching tools. And uh, thank you.